Welcome to the 200th episode of the Regular Features Podcast. Now, this was a live episode that we recorded in Logs Pub up in Nottingham, where we spent two days hanging out with our amazing readers and getting drunk. And then we did a live show on the Saturday night. Now, I'm here to tell you that if you really want to experience this properly, you have to see the video, which is on our YouTube channel. It's the Regular Features Podcast YouTube channel. And yeah, it gets a bit... Mad. It's basically like we started a cult. There's a lot of chanting. Um, there's a lot of stuff about eggs and that in there. And there's a lot of sort of visual stuff that I'm not sure you'll get if you don't watch the video. You might get something out of this. I'm not sure. But either way, it was a lovely, lovely time. And you're all awesome. Anyone who's ever listened to any episodes is really, really good in my book. Hello and welcome to episode 200 of the Regular Features Podcast. We've we, we done it. We got there. This is the last episode. Thank you all for coming. <laughs> Yeah, say it's been a hell of a ride, hasn't it? Shit. We've, uh, we've done 200, and now it's time to just put it all in the bin. We've, yeah. we've got nothing left to prove, and that will show in the quality of today's features. <laughs> I really like when we do them not in the Canal Cafe Theatre, because there's nobody to, like, we can't get in trouble for being shit. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, obviously, with you lot, we can get in trouble being shit, but that doesn't matter, because you can't, I don't know, shout at us. But you could shout at us, but you know. But I like how sort of ragtag this is. It's like we put it all together ourselves with tape, which we have. We did, we did. Yeah. Oh, I well, a lot put it together in fairness. Yeah, you lot were fucking nowhere to be seen until 10 minutes ago, you fucking <laughs> dessert of... I've been, I've been sweating. <laughs> I'm, I've, got, I've actually snapped at a few readers. Oh. They're saying, oh, oh. Oh, oh, just tell me what you want to drink. <laughs> <laughs> Who did you snap at? Who did Log snap at? Anyone here? Oh. oh. Hey, yo. And I'm snapping you again. Look at your face. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like how he, he immediately put his hand up and then put it down. He's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> um, oh, are, they, are we? Does the siege begin? <laughs> they, they weren't trying to get in. They were just trying to shut us up. They shut the door. I can't blame them. I'm out of my depth. <laughs> Is there a knack for this? Um, Paul, it's, it's counterintuitive. Do you twist the wrist and pull at the same time? It's like, <laughs> uh, you've done it. Just four. <laughs> And that, that's we Gav, we, Gav's we, feature there. We're we applauding Gavin for shutting doors now. <laughs> so, it's, an, it's an exciting night. Gold sticker, Buzz. close the door. What's going on with us then, Log? Obviously, we all love England, but... Um, England, yes. Britain, that thank is, you very much. That is the flag much. of England. <laughs> yeah. But this is why Welsh <laughs> people are like they are for shit like that. <laughs> Mate, I just don't see colours. <laughs> well, it's the Welsh flag for football, I'll give you that. No. Yeah, you see. Uh, yeah. Tim Hedman, yeah, yeah. Wait a minute, <laughs> why is there a yeah, Why is there a <laughs> Well, do you want to know? It'll come clear on my feature. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. We'll more, try- more of that. Just shout shit all the time. This is good. <laughs> Everyone get wrecked. If you want to go to the bar, you can. There's going to be t-shirts in the back that we're selling for a tenner each. And all the money is going to Matt's amazing charity. It's not my charity. But it, it might as well be. It might as well be, yeah. Oh, it's mine now. All right, so I do a feature then? Yeah! All right, so let's do a feature. I'm going to have to get rid of this union, Jack. I, I'm Sorry. in two minds, to be honest. Right. Oh, oh, thank you very much. I think we should... Uh, we just... <laughs> So this is the thing, basically, for my feature today. I am going to be showing you uh, a slideshow of some photographs I took whilst going on a nice walk through the the hills and mountains of the Lake District. So the Lake District is obviously a very beautiful landscape. And uh, just click through here. Hill walking in the Lake District. It's a little photographic essay. (laughs) It's a beautiful place. It really is. 
Uh, yeah, I took that photograph. That's stunning. That, that, a, yeah. That'd be all right on a Windows desktop, that would. Mobile yeah. phone as well. It's amazing what you can do. It works, it works yeah. on mobile really. too, does it? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Nice. I, I feel like I'm there. <laughs> yeah, I felt like I was there as well. <laughs> But I mean, look at this, just the way that the landscape has been sort of okay. hewn into Fuck by... Uh, Is that in England? That's Wales. That's, that's England, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Some rocks. Yeah. That's, CG, that's CGI. <laughs> And what altitude is, is that? You this reckon? is at about 650 uh, above meters sea above level? sea level, I think. Yeah, and uh, obviously no you can way. see the clouds. It's a beautiful landscape, very much hewn by uh, ice many yeah. years ago. Oh, yeah. um, and obviously, it. this is us in a cloud. Um, lots of people talking in pop songs. It's very That's popular. That's limestone if I ever mm. saw it. <laughs> people in pop songs frequently talk about being in the clouds. That could be in a and, film. Yeah, but it's actually just a bit damp and grey. Um, <laughs> this is about 900 meters. Shut above. up. Going up. Yep, going up. Yeah, pops, we're going pop, up a lot. Pops and lovely view here. Or limestone as well. You don't, you don't, you just doesn't <laughs> rhyme with much. Yeah, lovely view of a, uh, a village here. Um, we'll have a few more photographs of this village in a bit. It's a lovely small... Closer up, I hope. Yeah. yeah, well, we were on a, we were on a hill, actually. Would you, um, would you call that... Would you describe it, is that scrubland? Actually, sorry. Would you call that scrubland? Is that a scree? Sorry, this is really embarrassing. I've just got an urgent call I actually have to Are you answering your phone in the middle I, of episode 200? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's one thing, one thing you can say about Gav. That man can shut a door. Uh, jo is Joe Scrabbles in the audience? Can we Joe. just get Joe in instead? Hey! 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 Come on, get up here. Come on, Joe, come in there instead. Take it, take your goddamn top off. Shut your fucking mouth. This this year was going nowhere. What is this? So as it turns out, I have a backup feature just in case. I'd like to introduce it. <laughs> uh, and I will <laughs> Yes and I, and I will by saying its title It is Volcanoes versus paedophiles versus magicians Versus journalism versus Diana versus Silence of the Lambs versus chip shops Versus driving instructors versus police academy Versus nightmares versus ding dong Versus juicy Susan versus the Mandela Effect versus Harissa versus eyeballs Versus Doctor Who versus onions versus Krambus versus oh, helmet yeah! Madams and sirs, I bring you tidings of great danger. <laughs> oh my god! Where is Matt? It's Stephen Pookie, <laughs> Inspector at Large. <laughs> <laughs> Paranormal inspector at large to you, son. I've been clopping through the ether from my offices in outer slough because I fear to bring you tidings of woe that may put you all into a cupboard of great danger. <laughs> Within this very room hides a very powerful spooky that must be rubbed away at any and all costs. <laughs> what? Oh, no. Like a ghost? <laughs> very much like a ghost, yes. A ghost, a ghost, a ghost indeed. Hello. My name is Stephen Pookie. For many years I lived alone in the house which previously belonged to my mother. And now there is a ghost somewhere in this room. For the love of God, help us, Mr. Pookie! You're quite right, boy. Yes, I am the man with the tools for the job. This may appear to be a disc. This may appear to be a mirror. <laughs> this may appear to be a disc of translucent plastic. Nice prop work. Yeah. But this... My friend. <laughs> what fantastic noise. It diffuses the lights within any room, giving an accurate white balance for photography and video. This, however, <laughs> this, this is fuck, too many fucking things. Oh, this what is, is, yeah. is, that one? is far more of my type of Sunday catch. This is a digital kinetic spectrometer. <laughs> <laughs> It's almost like you don't know what it is. <laughs> a digital kinetic spectrology analyzer. Analyzer. 
Placed in the palm, as so, it is able to read 99.9% of auras when activated with a small movement. As so. What oh. the devil are you doing, man? Ah, I'll have less of that detox from you, Captain Bumseye. <laughs> <laughs> the devil is serious business. Serious business indeed. How many of you have ever come truly face to face with a devastating spooky? <laughs> mano a mano, up in the grill. Face it, you're harboring a spooky that's out of your hands and now I'm putting it into my hands and rubbing it off the face of this goddamn spectral plane. Ah, uh, so. Mm. Oh, I can feel something actually, it's like a... A mild tingle. That's my aftershave. It forms clouds. <laughs> You're clean. You, boy. Into the spectral analysis, analysis chair. Right, let me get into the spectral analysis chair. <laughs> oh. Oh. Would you like a hand? <laughs> so it was clapping that. <laughs> well, it was more impressive than shutting a fucking door, guys. <laughs> oh! Oh, well, I'm the bad guy now. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> you, sir. Yes. It's time to begin your yeah. scan. Yes. This is stupid. I don't even believe in ghosts, which is weird, given my hysterical reaction just moments ago. <laughs> ah, yes, this young lad's no stranger to a spooky. <laughs> I believe you've dealt with a great number. And remarkable. It's, it says here you've polished them off without any assistance. Quite <laughs> remarkable. Tell me, boy, what is your name? My name is Stephen. Stephen, a man to my own name. <laughs> I believe one day, Stephen, you may well make a fine paranormal investigator. It's impossible. It's almost as if spooky is naturally drawn to you, popping <laughs> up out of nowhere whenever you're around. Tell me, boy. Tell me. Focus on this boy for a moment, won't you? Focus. Push all other thoughts out of your tiny vanilla minds. Can you feel the presence of a spooky slowly creeping up into the foreground, pushing all aside, slowly standing proud and tall against your will? <laughs> Remarkable. I'll give you my number. We should go for a drink. You, <laughs> you boy, hairy boy. <laughs> yeah, I believe a ghost, mate. <laughs> Very good. Okay, so let me just begin this. Mm, not really picking up at the moment. It's going to require a little more. And I'm, like, I'm getting something. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's definitely some sort. Hmm. For the benefits of the readers at home, Matthew is implying <laughs> a, a, a masturbatory action <laughs> on Gav's crotch. Just a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Make this into a gift. <laughs> Is this all right? <laughs> <laughs> well, get the uh, a better reading. <laughs> no, um, no, it's, it's now nothing. It's doing nothing for me. I'm not sure if it's if it, you felt anything. Got it. Nothing. Nothing? No, I felt, I felt nothing. And, uh, finally, you, boy. Boy, boy, in the corner. Why, 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 yeah! why? <laughs> what? What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Good evening, Inspector. By the sainted passage of spooks, is that... That's, yes, Pookie, it's me, Jonathan Wiggly. <laughs> and me, Cletus Wiggly. I've got bad brain problems. The Wiggly Brothers. <laughs> Remember the train, inspect? You on the train! You. <laughs> You pushed us down the toilet. It really hurt. <laughs> Don't interrupt, Cletus. <laughs> I'm, s I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> G 
good. <laughs> Agreed, good. <laughs> what do you want, Wiggly Brothers? <clears throat> Sorry, what, what is going on? <laughs> These are the spookies I've been juggling your dick for, Murphy. The Wiggly Brothers. Tiny train robbers that I put a stop to in my past life as an army man. He flashed us down the toilet. They were stealing all of the passengers' jewels. And, and I said, I went, well, if you really want to be flush with cash. And then he pissed on my little legs. <laughs> and I said, hot streams, hot, hot streams. I, got, I became carried away. He pissed, on our li- he pissed on our little legs and flushed us away. But your crimes will not be forgotten, Pookie! <laughs> Wiggly Brothers, it is time for you to leave. Why does he keep changing between wigs? You're a beautiful boy, but you know nothing of ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> the, these, spookies, these spookies are far, far meatier than anything you've ever even thought of wrestling with. We will wiggle our ways into your dreams, pretty child. Enough, Wiggles! I'm speaking to both of you, that's a collective term. Listen, what, what do you want, you malevolent assholes? <laughs> We want you dead, Stephen Pookie. We want your body and spirit crumbled and crushed, compacted and flushed down a toilet. We want your very existence to be washed away with hot piss. All right. <laughs> but maybe instead, um, instead of that, I'll let you have a go on my hat. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> We have an accord. (laughs) Very well, Pookie. Give us the hat. All right, Wiggles, but you're only having a little go. Now, listen, let me me hold on to your other wig for a second while I do do this, and then I'm just trying to put that on there. It's not quite fitting on. If you just take that wig off, and then we can put put that on there, and then... Aha! Ah! 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 Be gone, foul wiggles! Be gone, you fucks! Oh my god. Why on this fucking podcast again? <laughs> I've no idea what you're talking about, but it's time for me to go. Should you need my services? Heed my name, Stephen Pookie. It's easy to remember. Stephen sounds like heaven, and Pookie is a combination of the words poo and key. So, just imagine, you're at the gates of heaven, and you've got the key, but somebody's done the shit in the keyhole, so the key's no use. And when you find yourself in that caliber of a pickle, Stephen Pookie, that's my name, I'll maybe see you later. I'll maybe see you later. Good, we should get him on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know what happened, but I liked it. Well, I'm off. So, All right. Thanks, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Yeah. Joe Scrabble, Joe, everyone. Joe, 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 we pulled something out of the bag. What the fuck was going on? I have no idea. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Yeah. I somehow feel more hungover <laughs> having done that. Well, you were jumping about a bit in there. <sighs> I was shaking from the The best the was earlier. So we've spent the afternoon with Joe while you were sort of tweaking things. And uh, in the pub earlier, I just sort of, sort of caught him just looking at the wall in, and looking really sad. And I was like, what's wrong? He's like... Oh, you've got to see the thing that we've written. <laughs> and he's like, and he's like, it's just dawned on me, and now I've got to actually do it. <laughs> and he did. So that was co-written with Joe, was it? Yep. That's co-written by Joe. I thought, I thought it, I thought it had the physical stink of scrabbles all over it. That's fucking love that man. <sighs> Should we do it? I can never leave the podcast because I know they'd replace me too amply. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said to Joe last night, so I sent him a message on uh, a Hangouts and just went, hey man, we just thought, do you want to do a feature tomorrow? It was like really late on Friday night. And he was like, oh, I don't know if I'll have time. And I was like, this is like in Gladiator when Whackin' Phoenix is like, all right, Gladiator, let's fight then. But he gets all his mates to stab him. <laughs> and then he comes out and everyone's like, oh, I thought Gladiator was like really good at fighting. But it turns out he's not. Look at him, he's falling about. He's around, the, he's coming in blood. beating him. <laughs> That's basically what we did to him. Yeah, that's good. So thanks for being stabbed, Joe. 
You stabby old bastard. <laughs> what we, what's that now? What's, what's next? This is you next. Oh, guy. I'm next. Yeah. Awesome. Can we do a jingle and then I need you to put Why the do you thing keep on? putting the Union Jack up all the time? He fucking loves it, doesn't he? Yeah. You've been living in Nottingham too long, baby. <laughs> <laughs> What can I say? I just fucking, I'm just so proud of my country at the minute. <laughs> um, I need, I, need, I need my phone. Don't use uh, press head space oh, bar God, with yeah, your head. Close, Shit, yeah. Oh God, no! But you just press what? space bar. No, you know what? You I, did no. just press it. I saw you press it. Well, you know what that means. I don't know. Christmas. You someone turned fucking caffeine off, which means it's going to go clippy. Uh, will it go clippy? Yeah, that's that's why I had caffeine on. Clippy. We'll get to your podcast clippy. in a minute. We're going to talk about apps. <laughs> We're going to talk about the production Let's have of the some podcast. hot app chat. What, as in like all jittery or something? Well, yeah, the, when it was on off a couple of seconds. Oh. Well, let's pause it. No, we don't need to now. It's, no. it's, it's oh, okay. not going to turn off again. Let's start again. Let's start the podcast again. Okay, yeah, okay. I, think right. can, I think we can pull that off. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> I've got <laughs> a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, Matt, mustache. Come on, mustache off. <laughs> Oh fuck, that's ne- <laughs> Oh sorry guys, I've got a phone call. <laughs> you are almost half blacked oh, out now. Fuck. <laughs> at least I'm in Nottingham. <laughs> oh! Did he just press pause with his phone? <laughs> stop using no, the Ma- stop using the MacBook as a basis for your antics. <laughs> What the fuck am I gonna Matt, do? Matt, can I have my phone, please? I need my uh, phone. Please. Which Next. one's yours? Uh, the one there. This okay. one. That's it. Thank you. Can I right. have a script? And let me. You don't write need a script. My face me. on it. All right. <laughs> it doesn't look that bad. It looks awesome. You're making it worse. <laughs> I know, oh I my god! It. Oh my god! <laughs> Is that recording? <laughs> we are recording. Yes. We are recording. Okay. Should we do a jing a live jingle? As it's episode 200, shall we do the one where we celebrate? Yeah. Is that all right, Log, though? I'm just checking. Just making sure it's... C- celebrations pause. <laughs> it's 20 minutes. 20 minutes sounds like we haven't lost anything. Cool. I'm just giving myself paper cuts. Oh, fuck! Oh, 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 you! Oh, goodness. Oh, that's a bit of centre of attention. Oh, yes, let's do that. Oh. <laughs> Ready? Regular features come on. Features. The regular. That's my favourite one. It's all off now, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, Log, can you get my? <laughs> Uh, don't yeah. don't let him do that. Yeah, you look nice now. He's perfect. <laughs> Can I get you what? Can you get my slides thing up? On Thank you. He's so that's why I'm on like, your why ra- keep opening his slides on your, on your racist laptop, please. <laughs> Everyone, close their eyes for two seconds. Uh, it's a racist Chromebook, actually. Okay. Can you do that? <laughs> why are you laughing? You should have had your eyes closed. <laughs> Out. <laughs> oh, it's not in. It's not in present mode. Isn't it? No, do you want me? No, it's going to stay there. Do you, just full go, screen. Go, and pre- go full screen it for me, baby. Oh, my God. What did happen? Oh! No! No, oh my God! God! Oh! Cancel the feature. It's wrecked now. For the, for the benefit of the people at home, a man just came in and took his penis out. <laughs> He's gone now. What is good about the two people sitting on this side of the table? <laughs> yes. One of them, Steve. Ooh, Who said it. that? Was that you? Who said that? I like good. you. That's good. You're good. <laughs> Do you know me? <laughs> uh, two of the people on regular features are important enough to have a blue tick next to their name on Twitter, which should tell you how bullshit <laughs> ticks are on Twitter, in fairness, that two members of the regular features team are verified. Um, but one thing that happens when you're verified is you get a lot of these messages sent to you. So I have my um, DMs open on Twitter. So people can DM me. Don't. (laughs) (laughs) For reasons they'll become very clear. So I had this uh, on Thursday at 5.01 a.m. And I didn't have a feature. And then this happened. (laughs) No, no, no. You you don't need to go yet. Okay. You you, you can relax. Just let me know if you want me to... 
I can't remember when you need to move on, but I will at some point. It'll become clear. So I had this. Hello, I'm a YouTube actor and I want to get my account verified. Can you please help me achieve in this? I'm a helpful guy. <laughs> of, course, of course I'm going to help him. So I replied to him. Of course, man. Can you send me a link of your showreel or some of your recent work? So he sent me a bunch of stuff. And he said, my friends and I shooted a short series of three episodes and then searched for a YouTuber who is a fan base and then posted it on his channel. And these are the videos. Note, the videos are Arabic language. And I was like, that's fine. And I looked at them and it was basically they, like a lot of them have got like 150,000 like views and stuff like, like right. But it also like shot really well. And I think basically from what I could gather, they are prank videos like YouTubers do. You know, when they do like stupid prank videos. They're those basically. And I said, what's this about? Looks a bit naughty. He said, it's a story about planning a prank. Everyone is pranking. And then end of one of them was behind everything. And then a winky face, <laughs> winky smiley face. I replied to him, what is a prank? <laughs> <laughs> he says, I mean, if you see the verse vid, someone screamed. Then they went to a investigate. Then they opened the door and find someone dead. After this, someone comes and shoot one of his friends and acts dead. And the vids go on and on. That's not a prank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is a prank. That's terrorism. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's basically like, he basically just goes on about what a prank is. And, uh, and then he said, that's it. And I said, wait, so all this really happened? Oh my Christ. <laughs> He says, ha ha, lol. No, it's stage. Ah, this is me. So it all takes place on a stage like a play. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, English is my second language. I'm Welsh. <laughs> <laughs> he says, no, I mean in the videos we are acting. It's a fake prank. So it's to show people that pranks can go wrong. That's it. Staged equals fake. All right. I think I understand now about the acting. Not quite sure I understand the prank thing, though. Like, if I made a cup of tea and then it went cold and I said, anyone for tea? Then I drank the tea. Is that a prank? <laughs> <laughs> he said, yeah, you can say that. Anyway, let's get back to the main point. <laughs> <laughs> what, I said, what is your favorite prank to do to a person? He says, like when someone brings some food and go to wash his hands, I change the place of his food. So when he comes back, his mind is messed up. Lol. <laughs> Psyops, man. <laughs> I put his sausage under his peas. <laughs> Good luck finding out of that fucking tsunami of veg. <laughs> and he says, anyway. Good luck finding your sausage. <laughs> <laughs> he says, anyway, let's get back to the main point. I said, what, what would you like? And he said, I want to get verified on Twitter, like you. Log, click this button. Hopefully it's the right one. And he sent me that. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you haven't noticed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, why is that red circle on my Twitter? <laughs> I know I had a blue tick. What the, what the fuck is a red circle? I said, is this a prank? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I drew a red circle so you know that I want to be verified on Twitter. Can you help me get verified on Twitter? Oh, you should have asked. <laughs> I just got my friend verified, actually. It's not too hard. How long have you been on Twitter? He says, I think two months. And he had like over a thousand followers. So I said, oh, that's cool. You got a thousand followers in two months. I am proud. Is that the right word? Proud? And he said, wait. <laughs> no, no. He said, yeah, it is. And I said, uh, he said, so, and I said, sorry, I, I meant pride. <laughs> and I said, but well done all the same. Okay, so we need a few things. What is your best tweet? <laughs> and he said, the pinned one. I said, classic. You, I said, you tweeted about a pin. <laughs> you tweeted your pin. <laughs> I said, does that mean the same thing where you are as it does here? And he said, no, 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 no. Pinned equals at the top. Wait. And I said, well, what are you talking about? What does this mean? He said, I will send you a link. And he sends me a picture, basically. And he's a really fucking good looking dude. Um, he sent me a picture. His pin tweet is like, a, no, it's not that. Um, his pin tweet is like a picture, is like a short video of him and his mate, basically, fucking about. And uh, I said, 
is that you in the t-shirt in, in that video? And he's, I said, and he said, this is me. And he sent a screenshot of that video. I said, whoa, fair play. I see why you have so many followers now. <laughs> you should be an actor. <laughs> <laughs> he said, thanks, man. Okay, so we've got your best tweet. That is a good tweet. We might have trouble with your profile picture, though. It needs to be clearer that it's you, like my face is. And that's my face. There you go. No mistake in that. And he said, okay, I will change it now and then tell me if it's good, okay? And I said, okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> and he changed it to this. No, that, yeah, he changed it to that. That's, that's right. And then he sent me a message saying, good. And I said, uh... I don't know, it's black and white. Do you have any color ones? And he goes, yeah, 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 I got one of those. He sent me this. Oh. <laughs> and I said, are you in a car? <laughs> he said, yeah. I said, sweet, what car do you have? <laughs> I'm just checking on the photo, by the way. I know forget. <laughs> he said, Hyundai Sonata. Any good news? That's a quality car. <laughs> Reminds me of Moonlight Sonata. Ha! <laughs> Photo's all good. That's good. You seem nice, and I want to sponsor your verification for sure. Sponsor the right word? Yeah, thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Okay, cool. So, first thing before I send over your details so they'd know we legit, can you put, I know Gav, he sponsored me in your Twitter bio? <laughs> I can tell the Twitter people to look for that then. Okay, done. Unfortunately, I forgot to put an image of this in, but there's one later on, so you get to see it anyway. It's fine. What has oh. he done wrong? <laughs> <laughs> I was just, I was like, because I work with Joe like a meter away from him, and I was trying to like show him some of this, and I tried to start to show him. He put his fingers in his ears and covered his eyes and was like, I'm not looking at this. And I was like, well, because you, you don't want the weekend spoiled for you. He's like, no, because I don't want now spoiled for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, done. Okay, I'm just working right now, leave with me. And then I left him for a bit, and then he goes, any good news, my friend? Okay, so I spoke to my contact at Twitter, Jeff Twitter. <laughs> That's my dad's name, and the word Twitter. <laughs> hey! And he's pretty cool, and he's going to try and sort you out with a blue tick tomorrow. Fingers crossed. And uh, I said, okay, I got an email from my friend at Twitter, and he says he needs a couple of things. Your reference for your verification process is RF200. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're implicated as well. Can you send me a photo of you holding a bit of paper that says RF200 on it? <laughs> Next slide. Yay! <laughs> Don't applaud. <laughs> <laughs> He says, good. I said, I like your hair. <laughs> Is hair the right word? <laughs> I said, your top head. He says, lol, yes. I said, you grow it yourself? He says, ha, 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 yeah, lol. Okay, I said it now, fingers crossed. Sorry, is fingers the right word? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Is this the right I don't word? Know. It's because I, 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 I told him my like, English was my second language. <laughs> so I just kept saying that. It's, it's annoying me reading it out, but anyway. Is hair the right word? Yeah. <laughs> it's just an how you say fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Okay, so I said, I've sent it all over. Are you really an actor? He says, well, I am, yeah, but I don't have a Wikipedia profile. Also, I just do acting on YouTube. I said, I bet you're a good actor. <laughs> Thanks, man. Could I ask you a favor? It's very small. Okay, ask. They're coming for you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> He's not dead. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> because you're an actor, can you do a video for my presentation this week? <laughs> This is you treating like him like he's a Nigerian scammer and, and he's just a, a chancer. I just thought, actually, can we get audio of this? I forgot to check. No, I didn't. No one asked for that. So <laughs> no one asked for that. That's, yeah, that's the right answer. Well, I've only got four track things. So. Oh, of yeah. course, yeah. But will audio come out of your laptop? Can we just hold a mic next to it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. That'll really work. Yeah. Will it? It I, doesn't matter. It's really, it. it's super short. Can you play out of your phone? Uh, I'm going through like screenshots, so no, not really. Ooh, what's that? 
touch something and it hurt. I made a fun noise. Okay, well, come on, let's try something. Let's, let's, let's try it. Okay, we'll do it live. So, so, so basically, I explained to him what I wanted, and then he uh, he did this video for me. Oh, no. <laughs> so if you couldn't hear that is um it was uh him saying hello everyone my name is abdul jahim i know it's a weird name but let's move on i hope you all have a spooky time <laughs> And are you having a spooky time tonight? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Abdul. <laughs> I just sent him a message. I was like, that is amazing. Did you, went, feel, did you feel terrible then when he said that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, thought, I just thought that was brilliant. This is like a personal psychopath yeah. test here. Yeah, he's been nothing but brilliant so far. Yeah. <laughs> what have that's, you that's done? That's not our concern. <laughs> he's not the one we're sat next to. <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> he wants to get verified on Twitter. I'm not promising him like a cure for his AIDS or anything like that. Like I'm not. I'm not like. He does. He, all he thinks he's getting out of this is the like a, a tick next to his fucking name. Like I think that's all right. Mess with him. But he's not getting that, is he, Gav? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's all he wants. It's a really small thing, and I won't give it to him. <laughs> He might get verified, I don't know. <laughs> if he does, he'll have nothing to do with this. <laughs> um, all right. So, <laughs> so I said, morning, buddy. I think we might have some good news today. Can I ask why you... <laughs> Can I ask why you want to be verified so much? He says, morning, because I really want to start my acting career seriously to avoid impersonation. I said... I think your acting is so good, you don't need to be verified. Your video you sent me was really funny. He said, lol, thanks. And then I said, okay, I think it might have worked. <laughs> it should be one more slide, hopefully. Oh, hang on. You got it. It's, yeah, it's weird. because oh, there. there you go. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you can see it. <laughs> So you can see his I know Gav, he's fun to me. Which I think is still on there now as well. And, Did you uh, Photoshop a blue tick onto yeah. his page? <laughs> yeah, I didn't actually get him verified. That's mad. I don't know how to do that. So I Photoshopped a blue tick. <laughs> if, if anybody's getting tired of this or anything like that and you go to the bar, I will happily take a pint of Portland. You get a pint of piss at this rate, mate. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, I'll get you verified. If you... <laughs> He says, what the fuck, OMG? <laughs> and he said, I did get any emails or anything. I said, oh, well, it might activate for the public before it does for you. It could be region specific. Maybe yeah. you're just verified in the UK where I am. He, he said, at verified has to follow me for me to be verified. And I said, that's weird. They haven't. Well, they will. He said, show me a screenshot of your phone, which I don't have in this actually, but so I just did another phone Photoshop <laughs> and um, put it on. But I was in such a rush and I was like, he's probably timing this and thinking, okay, how long is it going to take him to Photoshop? So I literally just copy and pasted like from the desktop version over to the photo version. It's not, there's not one there. Sorry, I forgot to put it in. Um, I copied it over. So it was a lot smaller. <laughs> <laughs> so he said, it looks small. What you did... <laughs> And it's in the wrong place. It's, yeah. it's, it's on my avatar. And I said, <laughs> I said it might get bigger when they follow you, maybe. <laughs> that is how it works. He says, "Are you kidding me?" I said, "He said your Photoshop skills is good, but I can spot them." <laughs> oh, he's on to you. I said, "I learned Photoshop from Ian Photoshop. <laughs> he invented Photoshop." But I never Photoshop this. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> he said, what are you implying? That I faked this whole thing? <laughs> he said, no, but it looks really weird to me. I don't know if you can see it. I said, well, it looks fine on my Twitter. <laughs> and mine is a verified one, so I should know. <laughs> 
I said, and mine is a verified one, so I should know. Just like what yours will be like soon, and then a love heart. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> the, wow, the small chime of self-doubt in a man's brain there. I'm like, oh, God. You can boo all you want, there's a bit left. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's like, I, you photoshopped this whole thing. I said, I haven't got time for that. I'm too busy doing verified things. <laughs> You'll understand soon enough. I just spoke to my friend at Twitter. He said, you should see a full size tick soon. He said, lol, okay, thanks. And then I came here. I literally came here, so I forgot about it. Uh, and I had a message off him saying, any good news? And then Wales beat. <laughs> Belgium 3-1. And I got fucking wrecked. <laughs> Question mark. Are you there? Hey, buddy. Oh, there's no more of those. You know, okay, cool. okay. Uh, I says, has your chick grown yet? <laughs> or is it still a little tick? <laughs> he says, I don't have a blue tick because at Verify, don't follow me. Looks like you didn't actually do anything except asking for photos and videos. I don't know if you are really trying to help. Wow. Oh. Oh. Wow. What's the uplifting Did he ending? say wow? Or was that your response to him no, saying through your he shit? That. He said that. He said okay, that. Okay. Uh, he said, show me a photo of the mess massages with your Twitter friend. <laughs> we can do that now if you want. Get your top off. <laughs> and he said, I wanted a real help. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to clap for the audience. Yeah. It's fine. I'm I... clapping for Abdul. Give it to put a bit for Abdul. Abdul. <laughs> He's here tonight. <laughs> He's here tonight with a knife. <laughs> I said, "This is going to carve a tick into your asshole." <laughs> <laughs> this is this is kind of the end. No, it is the end. It's the last thing. But I mean, it went on. But it's not funny, so I'm not reading it. Um, <laughs> it's, just got, it's just got cruel after this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the funny bit. <laughs> so Abdura, I am. This is me to him. Abdura, I am so sorry. I thought I could help you, but really, nobody at Twitter will return my calls. I do hope you get verified, though, for your own dreams to come true. And he just said, wow, and two exclamation points. <laughs> oh. I hope he does. <laughs> is, that, is that the worst thing you've done? <laughs> I think it's that bad. Is it? Remember when your veto was stolen? And yeah. your friends started messaging what they thought was the perp, but it was in fact you replying to them, winding them up. It wasn't my friend. It was just people that I play video games with. Um, I, I mean, I did feel really bad because he is generally really funny, but also needed a feature. So what would you rather? Nothing happen or me just sit here? I could have just sat here and just gone, Meh. <laughs> And then you wouldn't have to feel this bad for laughing. You were just becoming this is this is like the podcast equivalent of Nightcrawler, the film Nightcrawler. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna end up killing somebody. Like something's bad's gonna happen. Well, eventually, yeah, when people stop DM me, I will end up killing someone for the podcast. Yeah. Um, Should we take a five minute intermission? Yes, please, yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. yeah. Intermission. Yeah. Lovely. Ba, ba, See you ba, back ba, here in five ba, minutes, ba, guys. Ba, ba. Oh. That means I've got to run to the bar and start serving, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, can you, can you let me go first so I can get to the bar first and then serve you? I haven't still got any black stuff on my face, have I? No? No, okay, cool. Here he is. Hey, log, log, log. Log, 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 That's your feature then. Bit of an anticlimax. I met a man last night in a, a red suit, and I said, he said, why are you here? And I said, oh, I'm here to do a, a podcast because uh, my friend runs a place. There he is, log behind the bar. And the man went, that's no log. That's, that's John. Do you remember that? I do. No, I don't remember that. What, what, was, the, what was that about? He was wearing a red or black and red suit, and he was Welsh. I make this up. Oh. No, no. Oh. I was there. I remember that conversation. There no, that's, that's, that's Welsh Paul. Yeah, yeah, I know him. Welsh <laughs> Paul. Can I be Welsh Gav? John, have we all been lying to you? 
Can, can I be... Oh. Whoa. Oh, oh, Hang what? on. Oh, oh, One thing at a time. <laughs> Number the first. Can I be... If he can be Welsh, Tom... Mate, your Twitter is fucking Cumro Gav. Yeah, yes, but nobody you can knows be Welsh, means. Gav. Yay. <laughs> hey, Gav, can you close the door, please? Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> I love it when Gav closes yeah. doors. <laughs> My favourite thing about Gav closing doors is it isn't pointlessly cruel. <laughs> Yeah, you, you fickle bastards. You were like, you were booing me about 20 minutes ago. Oh, we are. We can start it up again. How did you change slides? No, no, no. <laughs> That's quite I wish we hadn't installed sentient doors that love to be open. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, when you, when you got to that door and it was locked, what did you think in your head? Well, I couldn't get out. When it was bolted, you were like, oh, for fuck's sake. It's just life, isn't it, mate? It's just one, life. one jape yes. after another. It's life, baby. <laughs> well, should we do a jingle to start the second half? <laughs> what jingle would you like? <laughs> what? <laughs> we can't do that. <laughs> can't do that. <laughs> what this sunset? Long as I get my regular features, I am in paradise. <laughs> down, 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 down. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> Now it's time for Steve's regular feature, Steve's Cave Adventure. <gasps> As you all know, I love caves. <laughs> Big fan of caves. I'm always talking about caves. Um, Can't show you up about caves. And it reminded me of a time that we all went to a cave. Mm. Which I'm going to recount to you now <laughs> by the medium of a feature. It is the year 2016. And Log, Matt, Gav, and Steve are taking their weekly regular features walk through the woods behind Log's pub. <laughs> they cross raging rivers and scale mighty mountains. They clamber through rickety, clamber across rickety <laughs> old rope bridges and swing from trees on vines. They fire their handguns indiscriminately into bushes, <laughs> knowing full well that they are very near to the ancestral grounds of the local indigenous people. <laughs> but not caring if a stray bullet were to strike a fat toddler in a grass skirt. <laughs> or whoever it is who lives around here. Hey! Who's booing him? <laughs> no more booing. <laughs> oh, I do so enjoy our walks in the woods. Me too. It really is the highlight of my week. I agree. There are too few opportunities for me to endanger the lives of local tribespeople by blindly firing my Beretta into a hedge. I really do treasure these moments. <laughs> Did somebody say treasure? <laughs> yeah, that was me. I said treasure. I, I didn't say treasure, but I was thinking of a golden coin. Give us a treasure, old man. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's treasure you seek, then come closer, and I'll tell you where to find the most precious treasure of all. For it just so happens that, while you were stumbling through the forest firing your guns into the bushes, you shot and killed an elder tribesman who, with his dying breath, told me of an ancient secret treasure here hidden just inside this cave. Ancient secret hidden treasure? No, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Slow down there, you strange old bastard. <laughs> Why are you telling us where the treasure is? Why don't you go into the cave and retrieve the treasure all for yourself? I am old and have no need for treasure. <laughs> well, that makes total sense. Let's go! Ba -ba -ba. <laughs> you are standing inside of a cave. Hot, wet drips fall from the ceiling above and splosh into cave puddles, where cave crabs scuttle around in search of cave scraps. There are stalactites and stalagmites coming up or down from the floor or the ceiling, depending on which one is which. On the wall, 
you, that's a thing I should have taken out of the thing. But before you can lick anything, a mysterious figure emerges from the shadows. Seamless. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, boys. Welcome to the cave. This is actually my house where I live. So it's rude that you came in without asking me. But now that you're here, you might as well solve some puzzles. <laughs> puzzles! Will solving puzzles bring us closer to discovering the treasure? I have no idea what you're talking about. I just live in this cave with the crabs and enjoy puzzles. <laughs> Then lay a fat one on us, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Hit us with your best shot, puzzle woman. <laughs> I, I appreciate your enthusiasm for puzzles. Very well, then. Try this one on for size. <laughs> <laughs> True or false? It is called the mouth of a cave because you can do a shit in it. <laughs> Okay, we're going to need your help for this. Wait, we go. This, yeah. this, 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 this is hard. This is hard. I'm hearing true. I'm hearing true. What's she thinking? <laughs> That's absolutely correct. You can shit in a cave mouth, and you can shit in my mouth. Would Stephen! You, would you like to shit in my mouth? No! Before... Can I just complain that you've cast me completely out of character here when I'm forced to say, There's no time for that now! We have treasure to find! Very well. Perhaps some other time. Here, to aid you in your quest, you may use this secret passageway, which will take you deeper into the cave. <laughs> the repeated thawing and freezing of the underground river systems in this section of the cave has carved the walls into the exact size and shape of a mid-sized boots. <laughs> this must be where the cave treasure is kept. I can feel it in my dick. <laughs> Matt's dick is never wrong about serious matters what are to do with treasure. <laughs> well, if it isn't regular features... Alfred, Alfred McClue! McClue. <laughs> One and the same. But you're dead. What are you doing in this underground boots? You're not wrong, great nephew. You're not wrong. <laughs> Indeed, I am dead. And so are all of the inhabitants of this ancient cave. For you see, we are in purgatory. Not only is this cave a vast puzzle emporium of my creation, but it also exists as a trans-dimensional rift, bridging the realms of the living and of the dead. My God. God, is that Carolina Hearn over by the toothpaste? <laughs> wow. I didn't do it. He just, I literally just saw it now. <laughs> God. Wow, I did this with the utmost respect for a comedian I really respect. God, you fucking contrived the death of Carolina Hearn for this. Scav, you monster. And look, wait. <laughs> David Guest is picking up a load of boxes of tampons. <laughs> Doesn't that mean we're dead too? Because that would be a shitter of bollocks proportions. <laughs> I'm afraid it does, Log. Should have, Alexander, is that your real name? Yeah. <laughs> While walking through the woods today, you stepped on a bat. What got angry and flew around biting you all to death. <laughs> but there is one way out of the cave. One way to return to the land of the living. Tell me, Matthew. Do you have the blue egg from your previous adventure? <laughs> of course I do! I take it with me everywhere I go! The goddamn blue egg! <laughs> That is so well coloured in. Thank you. <laughs> that, 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 you just said you just said thank you. Reese did I was that. gonna say I watched thank him you, do it. It doesn't you, look Reece. purple, it's refraction. <laughs> You're being tricked by light. Oh, yeah, if you got a problem, you take it up with a light. <laughs> your eyes, your problem. <laughs> I want you all to concentrate on the precious blue egg. 
as I ask you a very powerful riddle indeed. A riddle so strong and so cryptic, it can catapult a ghost, or should I say four ghosts, back into the real world. Are you ready for the riddle? Yes. Yeah. Are you guys ready? No. You're too pissed now. <laughs> like I can tell you've had too many drinks and you're a little bit too confident. <laughs> You. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's the riddle. What am I? A victim of sexual abuse over the course of 83 years? Or a cave? Cave! <laughs> okay. okay. Wait, I haven't said it yet. Please make it a cave! <laughs> <laughs> that so, doesn't get booed! I'm gonna read you <laughs> a description of either a sexual abuse victim, or... Yeah, I got it. I, we got it. We got it. <laughs> My name wow. is Anu Busu Busui. I don't want to be holding this egg anymore. <laughs> Listen for the clues. I live underground in the mountains of Algeria. In 1933, a man explored my insides for the first time. Since then, everything changed for me. In 1950, the man came back. Only this time, he went further and penetrated me to a depth of 500 meters. <laughs> Around then, people started calling me the second largest victim of sexual abuse or a cave in the world. My name translates to Great Chasm. What is, what is it? <laughs> the egg says it's a cave. <laughs> I'm really glad that everyone has put victim of sexual abuse down to victim. So we're not we are, we're not shouting victim of sexual abuse really loud in our friend's pub. <laughs> Which he has to go back down and work with later. Why were people victim blaming so loudly upstairs last night? <laughs> it's like what is your podcast about? Victim blaming. <laughs> So are you saying cave? It's helpful if you say cave. cave. You've done it! My god, you beautiful boys, you've done it. You can return to the mortal realm to live out the rest of your days. Alfred! Alfred, come with us! Come with us to the land of the living! I cannot. My place is here in this spectral boots. <laughs> I need to get some cream for a thing. <laughs> Well, hold on, we're back in the oh, forest. Oh, wow. wow. Back in the forest, I spy a woodland creature pottering around. I often come to the forest uh, to have a sandwich. Uh, <laughs> and there's this, this bird. And in the forest, there's a bush, and it grows these berries. And, like, the lowest berries are, like, sort of this... High off the ground. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the bird comes up to them and he looks at them and he's like, <laughs> What do I do? What do, do? Like, do I, what does he do? do I jump? Do I jump up and mm -hmm. get them? Do That's what I, I would do. Do I climb the tree with my bird feet? Yeah. It's no. hard. He goes for this third option. I'm going to tell you what the third option is. <laughs> oh, I like it. There's not, a, there's not a third option. There's, surely there's not a third option. I like this new telling. He yeah. jumps, gives a little flutter of his wings. Right. Eats a berry and drops down. Sod off. He does this <laughs> multiple <laughs> times. It's like a little double I, jump. I decry this. <laughs> and um, that's what I saw in the forest. No way. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. That's the best story I've ever had. Heartwarming. It's so good to see Alexander McClue. He's looking yeah. so good. Yeah. He's so back. good, isn't he? He's back. <laughs> Matt's not holding his egg anymore. Should he be holding his I egg? I put the egg in the box. you got to keep it safe. I take it with me everywhere I go. Hey. If you want to see the egg later, you can. Yeah. <laughs> Unless Five I've left. Pounds. In which case, you can't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this, this is, it's a very simple system. Right, what are we Why past? do I have to keep explaining it? <laughs> Hand me the egg again, please. Yeah? Oh my god. What Don't. is he going to do? Is he going to lob it recklessly? We're going to pass the egg around. <laughs> oh. Just, that is a, 
egg. Touch the 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 egg. Oh, Ricky, you're so egg. You're so egg. You egg my egg. Scream, I am replete with egg. Obviously that way. We're Philip. It's not, it's not perfect. Wow. This is brilliant. Can Someone, we, do, we can just do this all the time. I just, I just wish there was video footage of this egg being passed around with <laughs> yeah. such immense reverence. Yeah, the camera's pointing at us. Yeah. We should have put a GoPro on the egg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on. Oh, hey. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> This egg touch is a greater... Touch, 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 touch the egg. Touch the egg. Touch the egg. Touch the egg. The clue egg. <laughs> and that's Touch the Egg, which is starting next Tuesday night on BBC Two. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to say thank you to Lee for buying me a pint of Portland earlier. Hey! Oh, hey. Lee. 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 If you would like to have your name shouted out during the podcast, then all it costs is one pint of Portland. Jesus, you are brazen. Just me. <laughs> Terrible man. I'm helping him as well. Okay. <laughs> no, you can't give a right. I've proven that I cannot uh, help you in that respect. Okay, don't be distracted by the egg as we continue with the podcast. <laughs> is, the, is it jingle time or what? Yeah, jingle. What would you like? <laughs> uh, we own that, so don't you dare. <laughs> Cantina. Do not listen to anything the egg tells you. It will tell you things. Ignore it. Cantina. We'll do cantina. We'll do cantina. We'll do cantina. <clears throat> Log, you can start off a cantina. You started off originally, yeah. Regu, regu, regular, regular features. 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 Hey! That was some fucking ages, guys. <laughs> fucking ages. What? We own that song. Did you say fucking ages? It's a Star Wars thing. Jeez, I thought you guys were, were nerds. St Star Wars, they call them... Don't throw an egg at... Not that egg. That's a special egg, all right? You don't throw that kind of egg at people. Pass the egg. Pass the egg. Pass the egg. Pass the egg. How do people not know this? That George Lucas wanted like the music in Star Wars to be like different and alien. So instead of calling it jazz, he called it jizz. jizz. Really? And they call it jizz instruments. So what they play? I'm That's not amazing. making this up. It's That's fucking amazing. true. Is that I can't why believe he's it's true. Got a mouth like an arsehole. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> so there we go. That's why I was talking about jizz. Did anyone not get to touch the egg? Come see me afterwards. You can have as much time with it as you like. <laughs> He's got loads more, but they do take a couple of hours to produce. <laughs> this is the kind of teacher that they warn you about, isn't it? <laughs> well, well done for not breaking it as well. Is it a full egg? Or have you hollowed it? Why would I hollow it? Hollowed it's it. It's a full egg. It's a full egg. Fuck off! Bring that egg back here. I've got, my dad's got to tidy this pot. <laughs> I'm out of time on my feet, yeah. I don't know what that was penned with. <laughs> oh. I don't know. I reckon people would pay money for that. Oh, I'll touch logs, eh? I hope your, I hope your purple pens are non-toxic. Sharpies, yeah. You can chew those all day. <laughs> chew them up, big boy. Anyway, good day, good day, good day, good day to you. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this... The Great British Parlour of Tomfoolery. I'll be galvanising my troops with a bit of top draw wig silliness later, but uh, I don't get your danders all in a hoo-ha yet. Because it's time now to sing the first two verses of the National Anthem of Great Britain, please. <laughs> you don't have to stand up, it just says it because it's the thing to do. <laughs> I almost stood up then. Yeah, so, I don't... Sta stand! Stand! Can stand you stand for egg? Stand, stand for egg. egg. Stand, stand for, for egg. egg. We all do stand for well, egg. We, I guess we have to stand now as well, right? No, we don't have to stand because the microphone's not up there, up in the, the mouth upwards way. So this is like an uprising. I'm scared. So, yeah. 
So we don't have to stand because we're better than you. But right. now people oh, yeah. can't see. This is mean. What? Okay, sit back down. You've stood up. That's fine. The Queen's <laughs> happy now. She's had her fill. And but we will all sing together. My God, because that is what this country does. <laughs> So, I don't have the only way to bring music through, but so but we all know the bloody tune, don't we? Yes. So, da, da, start da, da, singing da, da, now. Da, 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 da. Holy shit, fucking hell. Oh my God, shit, the best. Jesus H. Christ. What the fuck's going on? Seriously, what the fuck? I'm going to do my God. Christ. And we all know the second verse too, <laughs> which goes, Has someone got a mop? I've shit and pissed myself all in my pants. It's gone all everywhere. My taint and pubic hair. Why did I put my hands in there? <laughs> and you know what happens when you sing the national anthem? Someone says, Roger Helmer appears. <laughs> Look at that man standing fast for all we believe in. Unique individuals. My God. He's just getting I'm really close prouder. to a UKIP rally now. <laughs> There's actually a flag superimposed on Roger Helmer's face. Anyway, um, Sonny Ross, you love that. you're a beautiful man. That man painted that picture. Fucking hell, I'm it. Ross, 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 Egg, 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 egg. Give Sonny the egg. Give Sonny the egg. He has to keep it forever. He has to eat it now. Eat the egg, Sonny. Eat the egg, Sonny. This is oh, this we're is bullying now. We're bullying. This yeah. is this is escalating. All right. <laughs> I'd genuinely be worried about this room suddenly sliding into fascism if not for the fact that we couldn't agree whether or not the egg was blue or purple. <laughs> yeah. We are still very much lefties. It's fine. No. Yeah. That's. <laughs> fascism is basically getting loads of chance going, and we're well good at that. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I, as you all know, Regular Features has a rich history of um, wig, wig wearing. <laughs> We've seen it already tonight. I don't think we've seen, I haven't seen any of that. Wigs are a staple of what makes us who we are. What are you doing, Matt? I'm wiping up the mess that I made. Uh, <laughs> Quietly, without un you noticing. Un under understandable. I just want to point out, if you use the uh, beer mat I gave you rather than put it on the laptop. Mate, that's not going to stop me knocking my beer over my arm. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Eat the yeah. Thanks for your advice, but... <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> egg, egg. All right, come on. You can't respond to the word fight with the word egg. <laughs> I think that's the perfect right, you way to... When, if people start chanting Actually, fight, if you overdo that with people chanting egg. egg, I think that's the best defusal you can possibly manage. I was brought up thinking you can't say the word egg to the word fight, but everything's fucking changed. <laughs> Britain's a different place now. <laughs> Anyway, so I, as you know, wigs are a big thing. Wigs, regular features, wiggular features, you might as well call us. <laughs> Cut any one of the regular features team open, I dare you, and you will find wigs between our guts and bladders. <laughs> but let's, let's remember some of our favourite. Oh, hang on. I haven't done script passing along. It's all right. Ba, ba, da, it's your pub, you do what you want. Ba, ba, da, ba. What we really need to do? Okay, tone down the eggs. I've I've found the bits. Tone down the eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Let's remember some of our favourite moments of regular feature wiggering. Who can remember this classic scene when Richard Simmons got a job working in a library? <laughs> Oh no, I've got the wrong one. So I said, 
Debbie, if you don't if you don't have those Dewey Decimal numbers on my desk before lunch, I'm gonna have your guts for leg warmers. And I mean it this time. I will smear your goddamn liver all over my thighs like so much Debbie Patty. Debbie. Shh. Excuse me. This is a library. It's a place where people are normally quiet, you see. I am Richard Simmons. I live between the squiggles, you see, when you close your eyes too hard. I am a glorious half-human beast who thrives in the rushes of moorland. No prison can contain my passion for dancer size. I am an ultraviolet from a dying star. Pardon me if the infinite energy that struggles tormented against my shell of a body is a bit noisy for you! <laughs> I'm trying to do my homework. Oh, sure, now, lambkins. Let's be friends. Do you want to see my Gucci goo? <laughs> Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> and it's funny because libraries are renowned for being quiet places. That's, yeah. why, that's why being loud in a library is funny. I think you were quite respectful as, uh, as because, Richard Simmons, though. No, no, yeah, fair play. I didn't I take advantage of his recent mental illnesses because that's not the kind of cruel thing I do, Gav. <laughs> Guys, guys, guys. Gab, maybe you want to like, go and open and close the door a few times. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I'll turn them back on side. That, that guy may or may not have been mental. Door, 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 door. Give them all they want, Gav. Come on. Just a bit of door. Just open the door. Come on. It's easy. I've seen you do it so many times. He's turned against us. <laughs> I'll be okay. I'll open the door. <laughs> open the door. Surely opening the door gets a boot. You can't just cheer <laughs> opening and closing a door. What side are you on? You're not the king of this pub. I don't know anything anymore. <laughs> this is what happens when we do a podcast at a place where all the ales that you serve are like 9% <laughs> gravy. People just be sitting here all day drinking 9% drinks. Of course they're going to get rowdy. Especially her. Look, she's... Oh. <laughs> 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 this is what she's like all the time. You don't know her. Shut up. <laughs> yes, he does. I was on what your side mean? then, man. Like, I was sticking, <laughs> I was, I was sticking up for you. <laughs> Wait, what is this now? What's happening? Uh, I have fucking lost. Um, is the door getting open or what? <laughs> <laughs> I honestly think... They are... Now you get. Are you going to cheer him closing it? Close it! Close the door! <laughs> we, we have, we've been recording this podcast now for almost five years. <laughs> we've recorded 200, this is two, 200, about 200 episodes, and we're now on an audio podcast having a room full of people mostly happiest. <laughs> For us opening and closing a door, yeah, and I feel like there's no one to blame for that apart from us. I also, I also I hope it's not consistent. I don't know yeah. what they want from the fucking door. Yeah, Isn't I really it? don't because if I do an actual feature, people boo it. If I open a door, people go lose their fucking minds. <laughs> These are confusing times, really. Yeah. You know. Also, if you're listening to this podcast and you weren't here and you're not watching the video, just drink which a also, <laughs> what's your name? Richard, Richard uh, recorded for us. Yeah, for nothing. <laughs> Eat the egg! Eat the egg! <laughs> Hold the egg for a bit until we pass it on to someone else. Hold the... <laughs> Fill the egg! Fill the egg! Hold the egg! Hold the egg! He's taking a picture of it! This is fucking like Lord of the Flash Fried Omelettes. Yeah, I love it. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> I have no idea. Someone just said, this so is how just... Scientology started. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's... I heard that. I thought, fucking spot on. Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> you, you all need to give three pounds and I'll give it you back at some point. <laughs> <laughs> a bit close to the bone, maybe. <laughs> would, you, would you like to take a free door test? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway... God, it's like you've got to finish this and go. <laughs> Do we? I've lost my page and everything. So, so, as we all know, libraries, 
a place where you're normally quiet. That's why it's funny to be noisy in a library. Which brings me down to... Who, <laughs> uh, who, remember, who remembers that time that the Pussy Pals got a job? Got a job in a library. <laughs> Hold it on, Steve. It's a new slip page. This is fucking disgusting. <laughs> Carol, you soggy naked whore! What the hell have you done to all these Dewey Decimal numbers? I should think that was obvious, Debbie. You clueless drip of Tabasco on a dapple <laughs> pony's prolapsed asshole. I creamed on them. This is fucking worse than Richard Simmons. I'll never get my homework done at this rate. <laughs> Well, who needs homework when your premium hoop is squirting out buckets of hot aerosol cream? What are you writing? An essay on how to get the cobwebs off your <laughs> tiny ball bag? You know what, Carol, sweet buddy of mine? What is it, Debbie? You health and safety non-compliant corridor of oil and spunk? <laughs> I'm gonna queef on a dictionary. <laughs> You insatiable cavernous whore. Don't waste a good queef on a dumb book. I've got a better idea. Let's lock pussies and queef back and forth until one of us burps up a queef. Oh. Oh. Fair play, that was more interesting than this book about God and Jesus and that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's going on now? Damn oh, no. you, beautiful bitch. <laughs> I think, I think, I Debbie, think, you had a line then. I think the most exciting thing about that feature is that it brings Debbie from the Richard Simmons universe <laughs> into the Pussy Pals universe, which brings us exciting possibilities for phase three of the regular feature cinematic universe. <laughs> <clears throat> and now, in what promises to be regular feature's most audacious wig-based skit, yeah, skit. <laughs> we, these aren't skit. These aren't skit. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone it. gets a wig! <laughs> Wigs! 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 You all get wigs! You get a wig! This wig was made out this wig was made out of a politician's hair. You can tell because of the way it lies on your head. Lies! Ah, classic jokes. Fucking brilliant. Oh, great stuff. This wig fell out of a tree. What's a wig doing in a tree? Fucking don't ask questions. Wear the wig! <laughs> this wig landed on my doorstep in a basket with a little note saying, can you look after my, my wig, please? <laughs> no, look after your own fucking wig. <laughs> Wear it! Oh, bounce back. This wig is nylon. Nylon stands for, now you look outstandingly nice. <laughs> in this wig! <laughs> This wig is enjoying the rise of post-Brexit nationalism and hate speech. Can you, can you convince it that it's wrong? Or will the chasm, or will the chasm that exists between your life experiences and its stifle any ability to exchange ideas? <laughs> Find out! It's your racist wig! <laughs> God damn the beans in this building! All the wigs are coming back to haunt you. This wig. You gotta sling them. You gotta sling them like a frisbee. You pass them. All right. This wig is part of a much larger wig. Collect seven wigs to unlock the rainbow wig. <laughs> this wig is so fast, it's a whizzy wig. And what you see is definitely what you get with this wig. This wig doesn't care that the abbreviation. <laughs> <whizzy. laughs> oh no! That ne that wig nearly escaped the confines <laughs> of the building. <laughs> It's like, oh, don't go around King Billy's fucking wigs flying out the window. It's fucking wig center on it. It's like the, it's like the, win the sash windows are eyeballs crying out hair. What is going on in that pub? This wig 
doesn't care that the abbreviation WYSIWYG isn't widely known. <laughs> it's just getting late and the show starts soon and it hasn't got time to think of any more goddamn reasons for wigs to be flying out of a box. <laughs> this wig is stunned by how many wigs there are left in the box. <laughs> so am I, little wig. So am I. These... <laughs> These wigs are such good friends that they didn't want to be separated. I haven't got the heart to tear this little family apart. You do it! You tear them apart, you heartless bastards! How wiggy is this wig? On the scale of wig to wig? You know! Wig! Wig! Eat the wig! Eat the wig! Eat the wig! Eat the wig! And that's the end of my feature. I hope you enjoyed episode 200 of Regular Features. Don't storm the bar because I need to be on it because, my God, this pub is understaffed. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Yeah, what better time in history than to just give up on a podcast and start a cult? Where's the snap machine? It's not here. Shut up. It was out. It Dissenter. Make him eat the egg. Get it. There's a real story. Eat his wig. Eat his wig. And then his scalp. <laughs> but on, honestly, thank you so much for being yeah, uh, regular so features readers for 200 fucking episodes, yeah, man. You guys are best. We love you.